we want to find the exact length of a polar curve and here we want the length around one leaf of this rose. Set up but don't evaluate the integral. All right, well we're going to need to know where one leaf of the rose is. So first we're going to graph this in rectangular coordinates and our period is normally 2 pi but we've got this 3 in front so it's going to be 2 pi thirds. So 1, 2, 3, the fourth one is 2 pi thirds so the middle is pi thirds and this one is pi sixths and this one is pi halves and so let's go ahead it looks like we go as high and low as 2 and negative 2 at 0 sine is 0 and then we'll do its max cross min and cross so it looks like that and as we go to put that on a polar graph at 0 we are at 0 and so let's go ahead and put that on and then by the time we get to pi 6 we're out at 2 so pi 6 is about here we need to go out 2 so we go out 2 and then by the time we get to pi thirds we're back here to the pole. Now we just needed one leaf so we don't need to finish drawing that. We now know that we want to go from zero to pi thirds to trace out one leaf. So the length of this is from zero to pi thirds. It's going to be the square root of r but we need it in terms of theta and this is r so it's going to be two sine three theta squared plus okay we need the derivative so let's figure out dr d theta that's going to be 2 cosine of 3 theta but the chain rule is going to generate a 3 so that's going to make that multiplied by 3 so that's going to be a 6 so it's going to be 6 cosine 3 theta squared d theta. So there it is set up. I think I'm actually going to just take one more step and go ahead and square. We know we got to square the 2 and then write it as sine squared 3 theta plus square the 6 so 36 cosine squared 3 theta and that's all underneath a square root and then d theta.